Now, this is an investigation about two parallel families. Their story starts in a small peninsula that was a kingdom, but unfortunately, it stood in between great empires. That kingdom had a dynasty that ruled for 500 years, their own alphabet, their own stories, and this is what they said about the founder of that dynasty, or at least how we understand what they said. The first story they wrote in their own alphabet, it is a song of the land of the morning calm. Korea sits dragons in the sky. The six kings who founded the dynasty. This is from a testimony written by my grandfather near the end of his life in 2006. What I write, I write in the memory of my grandfather and my grandmother, whom I still carry deep in my heart. This is because of the dedication with which they took care of my upbringing after my father's death in my early childhood. My grandfather was a younger son and inherited only a small parcel of farmland. But he had patience in overcoming obstacles and putting a little money aside. What a hard worker he was. restaurant in Paris. Mr. Tsien cooked mostly Chinese food, and the restaurant was called Chinatown. It was located next to the Champs-Élysées in a spot you rented amongst luxury shops, fancy townhouses, and hotels for wealthy tourists. Unlike the first generation of Asian restaurants in France, it didn't cater to the Asian community. That wasn't Mr. Tsien's ambition. He wasn't interested in that community as he wanted something for the French and for the Americans. Have wings with which to peace. 